Hey guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this series, we are going to cover tree data structure. We will be going through the topics in trees and cover some conceptual questions to get an hands-on on the topic as we move ahead. So, please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. In the previous video, we saw tree traversal techniques, pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal using recursion. In today's video, we will learn these traversal techniques without recursion. So, let's get started. In today's video, we will learn the three traversal methods with an iterative approach. In the last video, we saw a detailed classification of tree traversal. Pre-order follows root, left, right. In order follows left, root, right and post order follows left, right, root. Here is a tree we will be using as an example. In the previous video, we walked through pre-order in detail. So in this video, let's go through in order first. The pre-order will have one slight change that we will see in brief. And we will also see the post order traversal in detail as it has additional steps involved. Let's first go through the process of traversing a tree using a pen and paper. We know that in order has root in middle. So the first step can be writing a broader operation, left, one, right. Now we will first substitute the value for left by traversing the left subtree. This will give us left to right. Again, if we go to left, we have a single node po. So, we do not go further down. Similarly, right becomes 5. This gives us values for left and root. And now we need to move to right. If we do the same that we did for the left tree, we get 6, 3, 7 for right subtree. Substituting it, here is our in order traversal for the tree. This was manual method. How do we do it in code? So here is the algorithm. We will use stack for these traversals. So we create a stack. We take a variable to hold the value of current node. Initially, we assign root to it as we start from root. Then we start looping. We are using a while loop that will terminate from inside the loop on a condition of empty stack. So we just write loop while true. Now inside this loop, we first go to the leftmost node in the tree. For this, we have another while loop that will terminate when we are on the left of the leaf, that is null. Until we reach this node, we keep adding the nodes in stack. Thus now the stack contains all the left nodes until the leaf, wherein the topmost node is the lowest in the stack, while the lowest node is topmost in the stack. After this, we also write a condition so that we can come out of our infinite loop. This condition states that if stack is empty, we need to stop. We also need to check this condition as after this we will be popping the elements from the stack. And if at that time the stack is empty, it will give a runtime exception while trying to pop an element from the empty stack. Now that we have the lowest node that we needed, we pop it and make it a current node. We then add value of this node in the result and point it to the right of the current node. This process repeats while we have nodes to process in the stack. At the end, we will have the desired result. Let's see it with an example. Let's keep the conditions handy. We will have a result list where we will add the nodes that we process. Initially, current will point to the root, that is node 1. We will take a stack which is empty at the beginning. While the current is not null, we keep adding the node in the stack. So, node 1 goes in the stack. And the current becomes its left. As this is also not null, it goes into the stack and current gets updated to point to left of node 3. Same with this node. This time the current becomes null. So we pop the node from the stack and assign to current. We then add it to result and change the current pointer to point to the right of the node, which is again null. So we again pop the element and add it in the result. The current now becomes right of node 2 that is node 5. Now, since the current is non-null, we will add it in the stack and shift the current to current.left. This makes the current point to null. So, 
we go to the other part where we pop the node from the stack add it in the result and update the current pointer to its right this again makes the current pointer as null so we will follow these steps again and pop the node 1 from the stack add it in the result and update current to the right of node 1 as it is not null we add the left nodes in the stack this will add 3 and 6 in the stack now again the current becomes null so we pop the node from the stack and add it in result and update the current again as the current is null we pop the node from stack add it in result and update the current pointer this makes the current not null and we repeat the process we add it in stack update the current and as current now becomes null we pop the stack and add the node in result now the current is null but the stack also becomes empty so we break the loop and return the result this is our in order traversal for the tree the algorithm for this is as follows we create an empty stack and initialize the current node to root then we start the while block that is indefinite inside this loop we will again loop while the current node is not null when so we push the current node in stack and update the current node to point to its left once this loop is executed we will check if the stack is empty if it is we break the indefinite while loop otherwise we update the current node with top node from the stack by popping the node from stack at this time we add the value of current node in the result and then update the current node to point to its right. This was for an order. For pre-order, we just need to change one line. We shift the logic to add the current node's value in result in the previous loop before we push the node in stack. So the algorithm changes to this. Rest all the steps are exactly same as we saw for an order traversal. Now that we have seen the theory and algorithm, let's write some code for it. Here is the class for tree node. It has three attributes, same as what we saw in recursive approach, a value, a left and right pointer. Here is the main class that creates the tree shown by using the constructors from tree node class. Moving forward, here we have the methods for traversal. For an order traversal, we create a stack and have a while loop. We add the values in the stack and check for the termination condition. If not, we pop the elements and add it in the result and update the current node. While for pre-order, we can see that the logic for adding the current node's value in result has shifted to the upper loop, where we are adding the nodes in stack. Rest code base remains the same. This is all about an order and pre-order. Now let's talk about post-order traversal. We know that post-order traversal follows the order left right root so if we try to go from left to right and then to root we see we will encounter the root twice and we need to write the root and result in the second time we see it and not the first time so we will need a previous pointer too in the post order traversal let's see the basic algorithm for post order traversal we will follow the highlighted part remains the same for post order 2. After which a few conditions change to take the previous pointer into account. We have a second while loop that checks if the current is null and the stack is not empty. If so, we just peek the top node from the stack and update the current to this node. So this gives us the parent for the current node which we were earlier on. If this node does not have a right node or if its right is same as previous, it means that we have encountered the root for the second time or we do not need to go to the right and we can process this node. So we process the current node by adding it in the result and then pop it from the stack. With this, we update the previous and the current pointers. Otherwise, the right exists for the node and therefore we need to traverse right first before processing the parent. So we update the current to current.right. After the loop is terminated, we will have our complete traversal with us. Let's see this with a small example. Let's take this tree. Initially, we will have an empty stack, current node pointing to the root and a previous will be null we will keep the result list. 
As the current is not null, we add it in the stack and move to its left. Again, we add 2 in the stack and move to its left. Now the current becomes null. So, we peak the top of the stack and make it our current. Here we see that its right is not null and also the right node for current is not equal to the previous node. So, we go to the else part that suggests us to traverse the right tree as it exists and is not processed. So, we update the current to its right, that is node 4. Now, since the current is not null, we add it in the stack and go to its left. As the left is null, we peak the top of the stack and make it a current. This time, both the conditions are satisfied. As there is no right for this node and also the previous is equal to current's right. So, we follow the steps and process this node. We add value of this node in result. Pop it from the stack and update current and previous pointers. So now previous becomes node 4 and current becomes null. As the current is null, we again peak the stack and check if we have processed its right with this condition. As it satisfies, we will add this in result and pop the node from the stack. Update the current to null and previous to node 2. As the current is null, we peak again. This time we have a right that is not traversed. So, the if condition fails and we go to the else part. We update the current to node 3. Since the current was not null, we add it in the stack and update the current to left of node 3. This made current null and we again start to peak from the stack. This time if condition gets satisfied and we process the node. As current again becomes null, we peak from the stack and process this node too as the write for current is same as previous. With this, all the nodes get processed and current becomes null, while the stack becomes empty. This gets us to the termination condition for the while loop and we stop. So this becomes our result for post order traversal. Here's the code for the traversal. We take a stack, a previous and current node and start looping. We add and pop the elements from the stack while processing them. Once done, we return the result. All the conditions present here are exactly same as we saw in the example too. You can find a link to the code in description below. We will stop here for now. In the next video, we will learn about the level order traversal. Till then, keep learning.